Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Park G Sung card to review. Here's the thing about this card, okay guys? Uh, I'm very familiar with his other cards since we did end up reviewing him. This is a card that, you know, you could use in the attacking positions, sure. But the main reason that you're going to be using this card in your team is to be your balanced CDM your left mid or right mid, right, on comeback and defense, you know, that type of thing for, like, the um, the three-back formations, right? And then one of your three midfielders, right, in the left center mid or right center mid position, preferably right center mid, because when it comes to the goal-scoring opportunities, uh, shooting it on the right side is definitely going to be the most ideal, right? But with this card, guys, five foot ten, high-high, right-footed, three-star, four-star capabilities is obviously fantastic because that's how I feel like he's going to be used mostly in game. The fact that you can actually switch him to multiple positions is definitely a huge W for how this card could potentially perform in game, right? So in game player traits, he has team player traits, in game attributes. Uh, the card is going to be working with some very good stats, right? So if you actually take a look and see here, you can turn him into an explosive player which would be more ideal if you're using him in the attacking positions, right? So let's say you actually decide to use him in the cam position and you want to use like a South Korean team or something. Finisher chemistry style is going to be super ideal while working with explosive. Like I said, though, I don't feel like that's going to be the main reason to use this type of card in your team, right? You want to use him mostly on that shadow, be the attacking and defensive oriented card, right? He's going to have really good pace to work with. Base card stats for shooting as a midfielder will be in a very, very good area, especially if you play him on the right side for the most part, right? Passing on the card, also in a very good area. He's got the four-star weak foot, 87 composure to work with that kind of stuff too, which is definitely a W. He's five foot ten with an average body type, but he has fantastic dribbling stats, for a midfielder okay for the attack obviously it's it's nice to have a little bit more responsiveness in the dribbling right even if you give him a finisher chemistry style it'd still be very nice but in the midfield position it's in a great area right uh defensive stats also going to be massively improved with the shadow chemistry style being added to the card while working with a high defensive work rate 96 for stamina and then he also has aggression stats at an 83 so uh with park ji sung in game guys we're going to be using him uh, in the CDM position for the most part. Uh, we'll also try him out in the main attacking positions afterwards, but for the most part, we will be using him on balanced instructions, just cover center, playing in that CDM position to test out his attacking and defensive capabilities. So uh, we'll see how the card plays in game. Hopefully he is a beast. Oh, I should have gone closer. Nice try. Gotta get the extra shot angle there. Park Ji Sung just saved my life right there. I don't think he wasn't the one that fouled. It was the guy before that. Park. Will Park again. Oh, if I could just get that run with Papin initially, that'd be great. Oh, come on. If I can get that passing play going, I would have been perfect. No. Oh. Oh, Park, my boy. Oh, 
A bad play by me. The initial pass by Mosh was good, though. Oh, come on, EA. Reward me there. Good challenge, too. Yo, Park's movement so far in that CDM position is amazing. Like, having him as the attacking-oriented CDM is really dope. No, oh, that's bad by me. I did well there with Park, though. Oh, I had him, I had him there for sure. I don't think he knew I was going to do that. Good challenge. Oh man. I wanted to actually force a run there at Park Ji Sung after the interception, but didn't get it off there. Look at Park. He he goes aggressively into it too, eh? Ooh, nice try, Jürgenberg. Nice try. The shot wasn't bad at all. Beauty. You mistimed the uh, offside trap right there. We'll take that. Good job, boys. Look at the interceptions, man. Oh. 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 <laughs> He's so aggressive with it, you know? It's, that's amazing to work with. Oh, I thought I had that area. Been perfect. Now we're still good. We're still good. Oh, Park, you beauty. Oh. Oh my goodness, if that pass came off better there, especially since this guy's using pressure tactics, it would have been great. Oh, the animation. Well, while reviewing cards, 18 and 2. 18 and 2. One guy I lost to was an ISO play loser that did the same thing over and over again, that just went to penalty shootouts, beat me there. And then the second guy that beat me was beating me 2-0 off of two horrible goals in the beginning. I got pissed and left the game. Mashed him again in the second game, beat him 3-0 within 20 minutes. So, 20-0 in my books. Oh, if the passes are well-weighted, like, Park Ji Sung on that attack is amazing, man. I love the runs he's making. Mark well positioned. Nice. Dude, these pressure tactics, man. Thank you, Mashrano. I, I can't, like, they think the stamina is going to be the only thing that's going to really fix it. Oh my goodness, what a goal by QL. Oh. Touch, shoot. Oh. You would have been good to me if you let me score that. Lovely. Getting him involved in the attack, uh, having him in the midfield set up in the CDM position. Uh, it's He's incredible, man. Mosh again. No! Oh. Ooh. 
luck, no luck. Nice. No, come on, man. <laughs> now we gotta try those. There we go. Defensive play, we score the opportunity. Is Virgil just being Virgil, man? Oh, mush. Look at this guy. Look at it. Oh, chill, my boy. Chill. Uh, of course. Look at Park with that track back. Well done, Park. Well done, my boy. I say done, Park. Nice. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Park G Sung card. So guys, listen. Uh, of all the five cards that I just reviewed right now, this will be the longest lasting card, 100%. Uh, he's a monster in game. There's not really much to say. He's really, really good. Um, the main positions that you have to use this bad boy in your team is obviously the positions that I mentioned in the beginning, right? So one of three center, uh, one of three midfielders, right? Right center mid preferably. Right foot on the right side is definitely going to be the best area for him, 100%. Um, this card, because of the high, high work rate, 96 stamina on a shadow chemistry style being very versatile in any single position with multiple multiple stats across the card it's just really really well rounded it's super super ideal uh to have cards like this that provide that extra attacking support while also being just as good defensively uh i reviewed this version of the card right here and you guys know that when I reviewed him, I mentioned how nice he was as well. He was a very, very solid card. He's 112K now, so he's a little bit cheaper than what he was uh, before. But uh, for obvious reasons, because this card exists now. Uh, the difference of the stats between them, for the most part, is usually just in the ones, right? Like ones and twos for the cards. But Park Ji Sung just has that thing to him that just feels really good. It's kind of like me using... Valverde, Renato Sanchez, like those types of cards in that position, right? So it was so perfect for us to use him in that CDM position to test him out in the attacking and defensive capabilities. When he offers attacking support with his high attacking work rates, it's really, really nice to work with. The four-star weak foot was fantastic uh, with the passes, with the dribbles, uh, being involved in the play in general, scoring certain opportunities. Again, from the shots that you guys saw, you do want to use strong foot on the strong side as much as possible. If you can have a CDM that at least has a four-star weak foot because they're not always left-footed, if they have at least a four-star weak foot like the Palinga card, you would switch Palinga to the left side while working with Park Ji Sung on the right side, and I feel like it would be a better balance to work with, right? So um, they definitely did a very good job of Park Ji Sung in this game. I was kind of like... I was a little bit scared they weren't going to do him justice because this guy was a workhorse monster back in the day, okay? Like, this guy worked his butt off like crazy consistently. Uh, you know, Sir Alex Ferguson even mentions nowadays that he should have subbed him on to Mark Messi, which, to be fair, I don't think would have made a difference because Messi was on one that year, as he was during that time period. Uh, but regardless, it's, uh, you know... Obviously, a lot of praise from a top-class manager, probably one of the best managers of all time. So... It was really nice that the EA kind of implemented that realistic thing in the game and he performs just as well, right? So very, very good card. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed using him. One of the best midfielders I've used this year, to be honest with you. I, like, he has some crazy defensive animations. Like His defensive stats are not even that high, but when you give him that shadow chemistry style to use in those midfield positions, absolute W card in my opinion. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.